Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Um, since we're already in June, I wanted to go ahead and do a June reading. Uh, just to see what's going on. I feel like um, I already started getting downloads pretty much of a lot of you guys are definitely meeting someone maybe at the workplace, uh, socializing, networking a lot. Um, it's like maybe maybe at a different job you were you didn't really connect with people they weren't really on your level but at this this or maybe you just didn't really like the job you just had the job because uh let's just say uh you just was in it for the money it was a good paying job but then you saw that they're really overworking you and you're not really getting much out of it but just to pay um you're not able to enjoy the rest of your day when you come home from work you're not able to spend it with your family you're not able to just uh have some time for yourself so, that is what I'm getting right now. All right. That was just, I don't know what message that just came through for somebody. It could be for you. It could be for somebody in your family. Make sure that you um, share this message with them. Okay, here. It was one and one one. New beginnings. New things are happening. Maybe there's a shift. I always be saying this stuff. Like, I feel when there's a shift. I feel when there's a lot of things going on around. I sense it. Um, and then I just tell you guys pretty much like, hey, there's a shift going on because maybe you guys are living your life a little bit faster than mine and you don't really notice that things are shifting, but things are shifting. And it, you know, sometimes your body will tell you to slow down as well. So listen to your body, listen to, uh, your body and what it wants to eat, what it wants to drink, um, hydrate yourself. It's, if you're somewhere where it's really, really hot out, make sure that you always, stay um hydrated okay drink lots of water juice um but also stay away from like the sugary stuff because it's gonna dehydrate you but i know a lot of people they need the little in their mouth you know a little bubbly taste or whatever Ooh, travel first card out guys is travel 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 now let's go back to COVID times right when we wasn't able to do anything traveling we've been working we were just working from home especially uh only the essential workers were working during that time but nobody was going to school nobody was really going to work and doing all that stuff but now that everything's open again you may be traveling you may be finding yourself traveling somewhere um in search of something though um could be a nighttime could be something that you could be dreaming about or wishing for. You could have wished upon this once upon a time. But it's like you're willing to keep going and searching for something. There's something that's not fulfilling you. Something There's something that you're missing in your life. There's something that you're not um, fulfilled with. It could be sexually, emotionally. It could be something that you're searching for that just isn't enough maybe it's work wise too maybe it's like your life purpose maybe you're even trying to figure out what it is that you're trying to do here on earth sorry for the noise but what is it that you're really trying to do here on earth like what is your purpose like you know that you're not just here to live your life like everybody else like there's definitely a bigger purpose for you but we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on for the collective for the collective but yeah, June has already come by. We're in June. Father's Day is coming up. Oh, so many cards fall. Hold on. Father's Day is coming up. So if you guys haven't bought uh, your father or anybody that is a family, is a, is a father in your family, make sure you get them a little something, a little card, a little gift, anything will will work whoa we have justice flew out a lot of other cards came out too but this is the one that mainly so we have travel and we have justice right now if this isn't you that's thinking about traveling like let's say right now you don't even think about traveling you're not even into it or whatever um you may be having to actually this is another thing i'm getting also because traveling doesn't really have to mean by 
like going in an airplane or going to another country another state it could just mean that you're going somewhere it could be on a road trip it could just be a 30 minute drive a two hour drive whatever it is but you're searching to travel okay and you're searching to travel or someone is going to be searching to travel towards you okay and there's going to be some type of karma or some type of justice like a like balancing of the scales making things right um could be court as well too because justice is not just about you know um, balancing the scales and having balance in your life it's also about karma it's also about court papers or situations that need to be taken care of okay um, right now you're protecting your energy right now you're being called to protect your energy to stay by yourself permit mode all right a lot of people are taking taking a lot of your energy at the moment if you're working realize that when you're at work you're constantly just shutting off your energy to everybody there you're sharing it okay protect your energy protect it as much as you can um also make sure they use one of your crystals too if you have like a crystal collection don't be scared to take your crystal with you put it in your pocket i like to personally put it in my bra because it's safe there okay boundaries you're definitely drawn to uh, either be in nature collect yourself ground yourself you're also being drawn to step away from everybody else and also put boundaries on people that are trying to keep you away they're trying to hide you they're trying to silence you they're trying to keep you away because you shine bright okay they're trying to keep you away they're trying to keep you far they're trying to keep you isolated to yourself and these people that did this or are doing this to you they're going to get what they deserve see because you're not the type of person that like you like to shed love and light and um there's people that don't want that there's people that don't want that they don't like it there's people that could it could be in your home as well it could be people in your own home people in your own family people that you go over people people's house that you go over okay there's something there's someone or something that's keeping you that's that's that that's that's that wants to have like boundaries on you okay they see you as good luck they see you as someone that always always has good luck you're very beautiful you're very the way you carry yourself you're handsome the way you speak about yourself and others and yeah sometimes you're very upfront and you say the shit that you have to say but at the end of the day when you are not in an aggravated uh, type of movement or whatever, you do speak well about others and you don't care to give compliments and give good advice and direct people the way that they need to be directed, all right? You think outside of the box. A lot of people just stay in the box. They like their comfort zone, okay? Let's get one more. I just put them all in back and I am gonna draw one more for the collective and let's just see. Then we're going to jump into the tarot. So it could be a situation where maybe you got a new job and stuff. And then you have good luck. And you're going to be doing so much. And people in your home, maybe they don't like that. They see that you're getting money. They see that you're picking yourself back up. And they don't like that. They want to see you below them. Because that's what makes them feel better. But you're inspired. You have the light. You inspire others. You're light. People want to dim your light because your light is so freaking bright, dude, that it attracts people that are searching for something, the answers, I guess. And even though you may feel like you don't have all the answers at the moment, just know that when people see you, they see you with a glow. They see you glow the fuck up. Like, they see you that you're different. They see you as royalty. You know you're royalty. You know that the reasons you're being attacked uh spiritually and physically and emotionally and mentally is because you are different you are god's child you are someone that likes to do right and you are disciplined okay a lot of people believe in san miguel saint michael archangel michael there's a lot of people that believe in him why because what does he do he protects he defends 
He's humble. You don't say, when you see a picture of him, he has his foot on a demon with the scale and his sword in one hand. Meaning, it's justice, it's karma, your time is up. A lot of people that, a lot of people, like when you get this good luck, whenever you get this, um, it could be a little promotion, it could be like, you know, anything counts, okay? Let's just keep it like that, anything counts. Whether it's a promotion at a job, where you get a raise, where you get, you get tips, where you get recognized for doing something good at your job, you will be called to travel, okay? You will be called to travel to do something. And at this point, this is when things are going to hit the fan because you're ascending, okay? Your glow up is, is noticeable, like... You don't even sometimes you'll wake up and you'll be like, You'll look like nothing. Like, look at me right now. I could just like, I showered. You probably won't know that I showered, but I showered. I brushed my teeth, I washed my face. You know, I got a little pretty. I didn't do my hair fully, but whatever. But what I'm trying to tell you is that even when you look like this, you may feel like you don't glow, you may feel like you're not your prettiest, but dude, other people will still find you very attractive because it's not about what you're wearing it's not about what you have on it's not about how you it's just you it's just you it's just you it's just you it's your energy all right so now we're going to jump into tarot Let's see what messages come through You're being noticed. You're being noticed. Okay. Whether it's in. <laughs> you're being noticed. And that's exactly when everything's going to start shifting. Things are definitely going to start switching and changing. It's because of the way that you carry yourself. And the, just the way that you're happy with yourself. Even if you don't have a dollar to your name. Even if you have no money. Even if right now you have a job. And like you're excited. Like you have money finally to be able to do things. But you're still nice. Don't during those hard times, you were still nice. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn for you. That's why things are going to start picking up. That's why things are going to start looking um, better. That's why that gray cloud that you have over your head, that's why it's going to be gone. You know what I'm saying? Things are going to start coming around. And the thing is that when the wheel, I look at it as like this. When the Wheel of Fortune turns in my favor, it's going to turn negatively in my enemy's favors the people that weren't there for me the people that wanted to feel like i was nobody because i didn't have a job because i didn't have any money you know but you're stepping into this new portal you're stepping into this new portal in which you are going to receive some type of help, some type of form of help, some type of support that's going to help you achieve what it is that you want, okay? It could also be you, you doing this networking thing, like socializing. Maybe you're not very social at work or something or with others, but you're starting to be social. And I feel like... It's going to get you to where you want to get to. Like you're actually manipulating the energy to be able to, to um, go after success, go after your happiness, go after um, being balanced and stable. You haven't been stable in a long time, but look at you. You're actually seeing that being in this, like, like people are noticing you coming through this door. And I'm telling you, it's like you're just being noticed look at how you are look just beautiful flawless effort like you're just beautiful like you just you just look good you could also be a person that likes to be barefooted a lot you're an earth person maybe you're an earth baby are you an earth baby taurus capricorn virgo are you are you <sighs> 
the people that try to get away with everything, okay? The people that try to be sneaky behind your back, the people that try to sacrifice you, the people that try to humiliate you, embarrass you, um, treat you like shit. Those people are going to see you be financially stable, be noticed, and see you get to success. And see you get through success. See, the thing is that you did a lot of knowledge. And these are people that, like, studied you. These are people that want to study you. These are people that uh, studied you because they're trying to get one over you. Okay? But they're, they're dumb. Because they think that you're like everybody else. But they're dumb. You're not like everybody else. You're not like their average group of people that they sit there and they calculate. Walking calculators. That's what I like to call them. But see, when these people were doing their studying about you and learning more, it's like they're trying to figure you out. They can't, though. They can't figure you out. You're something different. You're different. They see that you're different. Okay. But also, you're reading a lot. You're, go you're getting a lot of knowledge also. You're getting a lot of knowledge. I don't know if, what it is in law or like psychology or just like um astrology or just maybe you're just going to school or, some, or for something um i don't know but you're definitely you're definitely finding some sense of balance now you started learning more about yourself you started caring more about yourself okay you started putting your energy into yourself you know here she has her arms up and she's reciprocating her own energy into herself. She's not giving it to nobody else. Nobody else fucking deserves it. She's not giving it to someone else. She's keeping her energy until she finds someone that is worthy enough, worthy enough to get that energy. Because you notice that you wasted so much time, so much time and energy on people that didn't even care for you treated you like shit you were narcissistic you were people pleasing you wanted them to like you and all this stuff but now you realize you don't give a fuck <laughs> i'm sorry you just really don't give a fuck anymore you're like you know what i'm gonna stop investing my time into those people that when i was down they treated me like shit they treated me like oh you're a bum you don't have money da -da 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 -da. calling you name making fun of you but now you're up and now they want to be up behind your ass too now they want to talk to you they want to hang out with you they want to calculate what kind of money you have how much you're making that's what they want to see that's what they care about they're calculating because they want to get something out of it you know what i'm saying You're going to know the truth about a lot of people. And you're going to be very victorious in going through all this. Any damages, any heartbreaks, anything that has broken you down. I know you've been through a hard time. I know that you've been through a hard time. Like, by yourself. And you cannot sit there. Like, people will sit there and try to take all the credit that you did on yourself. All the healing you did to yourself. All the time apart. All the crying. The praying. The manifesting, all that, people will try to take that away from you so they can just be part of the, I was there for you, I helped you, da 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 da. No, honey. Don't let anybody do that to you. You did this by yourself. Healing, you can't heal with other people. You heal by yourself because other people don't even know what the fuck healing is. But if you can manage to find a way to heal yourself and if you can manage to even like, look at how you are and see what you don't like about yourself and change it if you can manage to get out of your comfortable zone and sit there and be like you know what i'm gonna throw myself into the in i'm gonna throw myself in there and i'm gonna do what i gotta do i'll get it right eventually maybe not right now maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but i will eventually eventually so now you have the sword in your hand which is truth, communication, clear communication too at that. 
and it's beautiful communication it's like communication that will have you feeling very grounded it's like it's like you're gonna be communicating with with someone about exactly everything that you've been through so you might be wanting to like maybe write a book or something like that okay but it will bring you a lot it will bring a lot into your life And it's so like majestic. It's like so like fairy like. It's like so like it's like a powerful sword. Like a powerful communication, a powerful clarity. This is an ace of swords. This is like divine communication. Like this is something that is going to help you. And I feel like it all has to do with like you going after it is after this, the ten of pentacles, everything that you want. The ten of pentacles, I feel like is the highest card. 10 is that it's the 10 of pentacles it's like you're getting all this this is what you're aiming for you're not you're no longer aiming for just to be here an average person like you're trying to climb the ladder to success to get better to get uh to see what else there is that life has to offer you want to climb the top and i don't blame you bro i really don't blame you for wanting to climb to the top and see what potential you have because there's a lot of people that don't even want to climb to the top you rather sit right here and just chill and just be happy with what they got. But you, oh boy, you and you may be little too. You may be little too, or you may be young. But boy, you got the heart of a motherfucking tiger. Cause you going after that shit. And I want you to keep going. I want you to see your full potential. I want you to live your wildest dreams. I want you to see see what else is out there in the world. But just know that the world, is, as much as it could be a beautiful place, the world has a lot of cruel people, man. A lot of cruel people, a lot of heartless people, emotionless people. A lot of people that don't really care about others. And that's why I always say in a world like this, try to be different, try to be you, try to be loving, try to be nurturing try to be an empath and have compassion for the world because in the world it's a fight between good and bad angels versus demons okay in this world if you are a chosen one in this world you know that you have to fight against those that aren't doing what they need to do. These cruel people that are just doing crazy things and getting away with it. And nobody knows about it. Nobody knows about it. And if they do know, they, they just keep it hush hush. But. You. You you know if you're an angel or a demon, though. You know. You know if you're a chosen one. You know. So if you ever sit there and you're watching my video and you're trying to ask yourself, like, oh, how do I know which one I am, an angel or a demon? Have you seen what you do? Have you seen how you treat others? Do you observe yourself? Do you ever say sorry? And mean it. Are you genuine? Do you enjoy causing others pain? Do you love embarrassing others? Humiliating, humiliating others? Those are the questions that I honestly want you to ask yourself. If you are ever questioning. If you're an angel or a demon. If you're on this earth to do good. What is your purpose here? Because during my time, I've seen a lot of fucked up people, and that's just, <laughs> that's just around, you know, that's just people, of, you know, whatever. And let me be honest. At first, I was amazed at what I used to see. Amazed, amazed at how people treated me. Amazed at, wow, this is what people do? Like, wow, this is crazy. Like, you know, you start realizing that not everybody's like you. Not everybody has a good heart like you. 
and you know whether you're an angel or a demon or you're a chosen one or you're part of the devil's team or whatever um and you're watching my video i want to thank you for watching my video because it gives me a chance to see if i can communicate clearly to you or to whoever is watching this video what's going on like um if there's any confusion or anything like that um going to be a hard road man and if you guys are aiming for success just know that with the success comes a lot of hateful people a lot of envious people a lot of people that will do anything just to see you not succeed and i feel like when you get to that that point when you start to see how people act or react to you succeeding Oh my God, when they take out their teeth and their claws, I think that that's when you're gonna be like, wow, this person was a hateful motherfucker this whole time. Yeah, that person was a hateful motherfucker this whole time. Little did you know. I feel like this was a different kind of video because I usually make, <laughs> I usually just get like I don't really talk um, about like maybe my personal life or whatever like that but I feel like I want to start doing that a little bit more often because remember a lot of things will resonate with us okay like if this message resonated with you make sure you press the thumbs up make sure you subscribe and make sure you press the notification bell to let you know whenever I post another video uh, I do post whenever so this like I said this is a June uh, June reading I was drawn to do that today I didn't even get dressed like how I wanted to I just put whatever on and I was just like I gotta make this video um, but I do want to start talking more about like my personal life because I feel like it will resonate resonate a lot with those around me those who are uh, watching this video that feel the same way, feel the energy shift, feel things around them, feel people being hateful. And um, yeah, like I, this is the type of communicate uh, community that I want to build. Uh, pretty much people that are wanting to help each other out, help each other grow, um, give each other advice, just be there for one another, okay? Um, and yeah, and that's just what I am aiming to do. Also, um, I want to thank you all for watching this video, clicking, stopping by. I hope you guys are doing quite well. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves, taking care of your family. Um, make sure you go ahead and call your grandmother and or your mom, dad, whoever you feel like you're the closest to. Whoever just comes to your mind when you're watching this video, make sure you call them up. A sister, a brother, a cousin, whoever. Just make sure you call them up and like, hey, yo, how are you doing? what's up yeah long time no see reminisce about the old times you know, go through go look through pictures maybe facetime them maybe go on zoom there's so many ways to see these people i don't understand you know but enough for me babbling i will catch you guys on the next one ciao